So Zacharoni wants to know how to mirror one half of a retopologized mesh. Well, that's easy. So the first thing you want to do is pop out of edit mode and select the newly created mesh. Then you'll come over to the modifier tab here and search for the mirror modifier. So it's the first one for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that and it's going to go ahead and mirror that. Now we're just going to rearrange the modifier stack here. So I'll just bring this mirror modifier all the way to the top here. And let's just turn off our underlying sculpt. And we will notice that we have a couple of vertices that are not welded together and we can fix that pretty easily. All we have to do is come to the merge option under the mirror modifier and we'll just increase the value till it basically merges all those unwelded vertices. And so this looks okay to me. And that's how you go about basically mirroring your retopologized mesh after you've done the retopology. Next, we'll take a look at two ways in which we can mirror the mesh while performing retopology. Let's conjure up Suzanne the monkey in order to demonstrate this. So once we've got our mesh set up for retopology, we'll just go ahead and grab the polycore tool. And when we start drawing onto the mesh, it's just going to be creating this new geometry on one side. But if we want this to be mirrored simultaneously, what we can do is just come up here to symmetry and I'm going to check X axis. So once I do that, now when I basically draw on the surface, we'll get immediate feedback and we can also snap things together across like this because this is all real geometry. So we can just work very easily and we're getting real time feedback on what the mesh looks like. Let's move on to the second method. All right, so the second way we can go about doing this is by creating a mirror modifier. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll create the mirror modifier and now we'll start sketching on the mesh. But you'll notice that we aren't getting anything on the other side. So if we tab out of edit mode, you'll see that your mesh is basically mirrored. But if you want this to be visible in the edit mode, you need to come to your mirror modifier and check this icon here. So once you do that, you'll be able to see it on this side as well. And now we can basically go about just like we did with the previous method and start drawing on our mesh. However, you'll notice that things don't snap together. So if I try to snap these two words together, they're not going to snap because this is a proxy mesh and we're going to have to apply the mirror modifier if we want to create any real geometry basically. Now of the two methods, I prefer the symmetry option over the mirror modifier. However, if you have an old and rundown laptop or are working with an extremely complex mesh, then the mirror modifier is a better option from a performance standpoint. If you have any more questions, leave a comment below and I will talk to you in the next one.